we are continuing our journey through Woodlow Forest, pushing it deeper as we go. I doubt we will be able to get through the forest in this episode, but we will see what kind of troubles that we run in today. Thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. I talk a lot about the games usually in my episodes and a lot in the strategy especially of the games that i play and i think in today's episode we're going to be doing something a little bit different we did this in a previous episode and i would like to try it out again let me know if you like these kind of videos or if you would rather me stick to strategy in a video that I came across recently, John Green from the Vlog Brothers channel, if you have not caught that channel or do not know that channel, I do recommend that you check it out. It's a great channel where two brothers, John and Hank Green, send the video essays kind of back and forth to each other and that's been going on for several years really and it's very interesting they kind of talk about stuff that's happening recently john sent out a video where he talks about the video is entitled what's not in the frame and that got me thinking a little bit in the video he kind of talks about as creators what we show and what we do not show what we show is what's in the frame what we tell what we say what we show on the games or videos or whatever that we produce is the frame but there's a much larger picture there the stuff that is not in the frame things that may be happening that you can't for whatever reason get into discussing in that particular episode and it really got me kind of thinking about how i show the channel and what i include and do not include in my frame now in the video aspect of it i cover or show most of the gameplay i would say that the majority of the gameplay is shown off as i play the game i do very few cuts when i do my if i do some cuts usually they're very minimal here and that is good and bad i guess the video and the idea i have there of that is that i'm trying to show off a game and to do that effectively i feel that i have to show the majority of the game usually the only things that i cut are things that i have done several times over and over like a boss fight that i have to try several attempts in order to beat i don't think you need to see every attempt or a very hard platforming area is another issue where i usually don't show every attempt but other than that i feel that a game to actively and correctly show off a game you need to show off the game you need to show the highs and the lows the goods and the bads the rough times as well as the times in which you beat the boss you know there's highs and lows in life and there's highs and lows in a game and to effectively show off the game i feel that you have to show those highs and lows now one thing that i don't talk about much in ooh, Mafu upgraded his uh, status here. Let's do this really quickly. We want Mafu to be. I think he's gonna be. I was gonna. I think I did skill points last time. 
we might jump into speed here and do a little bit of speed with him as well. One thing that I do not talk a lot about in my videos is me, really. I don't really talk about much about the content or my struggles with producing the content or the channel in general. We did do a video a last week, I believe it was another core mod video in which I talked a little bit about the channel and the direction I was going with it, which is something that I thought was important. But overall, I really don't talk much about me as a person. That is one of those things that is not in the frame as John so greatly put it. I think I want to talk a little bit about now there is some things that I will not talk about purely on a privacy standpoint but there are some things that I would freely talk about this is actually my we are going to get nowhere here this is going to be rough I thought that was not going to to be I thought that was going to be the last battle there but it does not let's see if we can get another one here and get in and out of here fairly easily we'll have to see what we run into these are definitely going to give us a lot of experience though here which is good what struggles do I have I mean do you come in here and kind of where I'm getting for this as you see the video you may see me always appearing to be I don't know the word always in control always I don't know the word see here is another where it's just escaping me the it's like i got my act together you know i do this video i play well this is what you see within the frame but i have a channel previous to this and it didn't go too well i actually learned a lot in that previous channel and ultimately decided to start over because of what i learned one of the things I did learn is, at least in my opinion, it's really hard to just play whatever. And that's kind of the way I did it in that channel. Whatever I wanted to play, I played. I was all over the board, so to speak. I played new, I played retro, I played every genre under the sun. I did a whole section on Mario games and the thing that i have found in that is that not everybody but there is people that you want to come and see what you like you want to you're going to sit there and watch the games that you like and what i found is that there was a set of people a percentage of people and i don't blame them i don't typically sit and watch games that i don't enjoy as well but there was people that would subscribe and come in and watch one series i would go through but then wouldn't watch the next game i did because it just wasn't you know i went from no i don't want to recover we're gonna go back and switch you know, I would jump from genre to genre and some genres are very niche. You have a lot of people that like that genre, but not much else. And that caused problems, obviously, where people would like something, come and watch it. But the next thing I did, they wouldn't. And I learned a lot from that what i decided to do is go ahead and put that channel away i deleted that channel that is no longer available on youtube i started this one and we've been doing this for two years the previous channel was about four years and i like the focus of this channel actually i wish that i would have 
changed earlier. I wish I would have canceled the old channel and started this channel earlier than what I did. I wish I would have had more time in this channel as of now. I like the focus here. It's a lot easier. You get a group of people. There is definitely a thing to be said about the genres. I do go across a wide range of genres, but there is a unifying connection to all the games here. And I think that is a little bit different than what you would typically see. I am going to try my hardest to get back to the house, back to the Hayville without dying here. There's a unifying cohesion to the games that I show, even with the difference of genres. You know, I would kind of like to throw Slitherpin out, but I'm not sure how much he's going to be able to do there with how low his SP is. And I really like that. And I think that that can garner a group that although the genre is a wide range, there is a group that likes this unifying characteristics of what I've done. And of course that unifying characteristic is retro or modern retro or retro inspired, however you would like to quantify it. Even after six years of doing a YouTube channel and I've got to say, I love what's going on in this channel. I am super stoked about where we are and how well we have done. I am just, I'm flabbergasted. And I want to, again, thank all of you who have been watching and supporting me. It's just been really great. I thought this would be a good niche for a channel. And it appears that there is something here that people want. And I just love it. But even after six years, I struggle still. It's again, not always shown in the frame. This is kind of outside the frame. Things that I struggle with that does not necessarily come across in the video as you are watching it. And one of those things to, that I struggle with, I actually put out a tweet a few well, when this airs, as of recording this a few days ago, but it will be last week when this airs about, I still struggle with knowing what to say in a video. I do a fairly, I don't know the real term of it, long play maybe, or it's almost like a stream. It's a recorded live play, basically. I don't have usually any thoughts or any particular topics that I want to discuss a like I done and you have noticed it's a lot of talking about the game or strategy or stuff I like about the game but most of it is straight off the cuff whatever I think of whatever pops up is usually what I just talk about and I still struggle with what should be said, how often I should be talking, how fast I should be talking. All of this stuff is a struggle for me even after working on this for at least a channel for six years. I just not sure what to do to be honest to make it any better i know when the i even actually had before there's two years with this channel we're a few months shy of two years there's two years with this channel there was four years consecutive with the last channel but there was even a time before that about five years before the 
rever re vergence i don't know the right word rebirth of the previous channel i did a little bit even before that so around 2008 i think i had a nine month stint of working within some youtube stuff and i know the big thing then and i tried to stay a little bit away from advice everybody has advice and there's a lot of advice channels on how to grow your channel and you do this and you do that and one of the big advices way back then i don't know if it's advice now but it was that you were supposed to talk constantly there was not supposed to be a big long gap in your talking and i think there's that's been laxed a little bit it's not as crucial that you are talking like an auctioneer anymore i feel that there could be pauses there are natural pauses in conversation i think that is okay again that is what i think i don't have any validation of that i don't have any concrete rules about what should and should not be done this is just kind of my thoughts and that's kind of i kind of like i just said and it popped into my head there are natural pauses in conversation and i know i'm doing this and you are watching this a week later in some instances there is a gap there there is a time there that it's just we're not together having a conversation but i kind of want that that's ultimately what i want out of this channel i want interactions i want to be able to talk to you all i want to be able to throw out a comment or a suggestion or a a thought that i have on the video game that i'm playing and get a response from you all that is ideally that back and forth is what i would really like to have on my channel but maybe that will come in a time i back to the, i guess the subject you can see how way whirly that I do my talking here or whatever pops in but what is not in the frame here is my struggle my constant just not knowing what I should be talking about what you all will want to hear what attracts people I have been told more recently than my first advice that think of the game as the the promo the the snippet the the thing the teaser trailer the game is your teaser trailer basically then no wait we don't want to do attack on him we want to do defense on him hp and defense on my armado we're being tanks here right yeah yeah hp and defense that's what i've been doing i lost my train of thought completely lost my train of thought there um conversation i don't know we we're talking about conversation there for a little bit anyways the conversation is what i want but I don't know what you all want to hear from me. The, yes, the teaser trailer. So the game is the teaser trailer and then you as the person is the full movie. So you bring people to your channel with the teaser and then your personality your conversation your commentary that whatever that is that's what gets people to continue 
to coming back and that's what I've been told but again I don't know I've just been told that from someone I think it's a pretty decent good advice but that still leaves a lot up to me what do I put in my movie what do I show to you all what do you want to hear from me and I know these questions that I'm throwing out are more rhetorical I don't know the answer I don't expect you all to answer me if you do have some thoughts and do feel like you would like to answer something definitely feel free to put something down in the comments below but I'm not expecting anybody to answer these these are more of thoughts that go through my head as I play as I get ready to do a video as I wonder about what to talk about in the next episode all this stuff goes through my head because I just don't know and that could be good that could be bad I don't know how that is maybe that bit of non-knowledge makes it I don't know a little bit more authentic and that's another kind of reason why I'm here trying to say trying to figure out what to do and doing this little bit of behind the frame or what's not in the frame let's talk about what we I don't think I put those in the right order you know this is the struggle that I go with or go through in the videos now that is in the video creation my hardest struggle is knowing what to say sometimes it's being able to say anything at all this game Cormon lends itself to being able to flow freely it is a laid back i wouldn't say laid back it is a slower paced game so i am able to play and talk at the same time without too much trouble but there are times there are games that need more attention first person shooters platformer games those sort of games definitely need more attention given to them at a single time and it is much harder to sit here and try to this is not going to work out well here i don't think but we'll try it being able to sit there and talk about something even the game sometimes is difficult because i'm constantly being distracted by what is happening on the screen and that is a result just the limitation of the mind as we are processing input it goes through the short-term memory and short-term memory is like any other think of it as your ram in a computer you have only so much of it and you have to either save it to the long-term memory which would be your hard drive or forget it and while we are trying to talk and play a game at the same time we are getting so much stimulus coming in we drop quite a bit out of our short-term memory and that makes it hard to talk you lose your train of thought easily when you are distracted by a boss fight or something like that that's why a lot of times I usually get much quieter during a boss fight but again it is kind of different here as a on this slow paced game I could talk a little bit more freely and these RPGs stuff like that some platformers could be a little bit slower and allow me to talk a little bit more freely I keep on hitting the wrong button I want to run and if you hold the 
the secondary button it brings that up so i want to run i just keep on hitting the wrong button that's why that keeps on. i'm gonna peek in here show that little stink cloud and save myself from getting in the into any battles as i go through there and that's going to be a nice easy way to get back into hayville so that's the little bit of peek behind the frame or what's outside the frame here in this episode one of the other troubles that we're just going to mention i mentioned kind of what was in the game but the whole social aspect outside of youtube gets me i'm not a very social person so being on twitter putting posts on twitter and that sort of things is a whole nother aspect of content creation that is almost beyond me i struggle a lot with that but inside the video game the hardest thing i think is just keeping a constant dialogue with you all hopefully with at least myself i hope that you i really do hope that you enjoyed this episode we were able to level up our hormon quite a bit there was a few in there that were a little bit stronger than i expected them to be I know that we are taking a little bit maybe of a longer than normal but i just want to kind of get through here i don't want to rush i don't want to push let's just do our cormon fight the battles have fun and see what we can find i would like to see all the cormon and this is kind of i know i'm playing on normal as a safety net but i'm kind of also looking at it from a hard or insane side i just don't want my guys to be knocked out that's just the way it is but i hope you enjoyed this little peek outside of the frame and if you have any questions thoughts concerns or whatever definitely feel free to put them in the comments below and let me know what you think about what i have said about the frame and if you would like any more of these kind of videos or what you want me to stick to strategy and what i feel about the game i think that's going to be the episode for today as i'm just standing here thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it i hope that we continue to grow as we have get even more i just love doing this that's all there is to it thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye everybody